This is the Rab Michaelite Alpine jacket. This is one of the jackets that Rab is famous for. Rab, all those years ago, started as an insulation brand, manufacturing sleeping bags and down jackets. And I think that if you look at the marketplace presently, that Rab are still producing some of the best, if not the best insulation. This jacket is the absolute classic of their range and this is the 2020 version and like all jackets it is updated and instead of numbering jackets it's worth mentioning this instead of numbering jackets rab like so many other brands will just update and tweak as they go and not put like a, a micro like a one two three four because they probably micro like alpine 20 by now or something like that but the 2020 version which this is has seen quite a lot of changes over the 2019 version and it's worth going into those what is this jacket this jacket is a classic down jacket it's bridging both urban use and hill use it's one of those brilliant pieces that you're not going to feel completely out of place with walking down the town on a cold winter's evening and it's not one of those jackets that's going to be out of place keeping you warm in a mountain environment it's kind of got that synergy of, of, of hill and urban use cleverly combined into one. So what's changed majorly for this year's jacket, the 2020 version? Primarily, it's down to the fabrics and the down and the construction of the jacket. Now, Rab, like all good high quality outdoor brands, are very conscious about their environmental impact. At the end of the day, we use our outdoor gear to go and access the wonderful nature. And it's what all us hill fans go out there to do is enjoy nature and enjoy the mountains. And if we damage those by the choices we make and the clothing we make, that just degrades what we're there for. And Rab appreciates that, like other brands as well, but they've really tried to and are continuing to try to reduce, minimize that environmental impact. Everything has an environmental impact. And the more we try and reduce that, the more we try and mitigate those impacts, the better for the environment, the better for us, the better for us hill people. So what's the story with this jacket this year? It's all recycled. Yep, all recycled. So not only is the face fabric a recycled, uh, nylon fabric the actual down itself is a recycle so how does that work basically they take um, old down duvets and things like that take them apart get somebody to pick through them all and, and, and to sort through them all and use machines and things like that to do that take out the really really good down and then put it through processes to make it into uh, the, the, the wonderful hydrophobic down that, that, that Rab have been helping to develop for some time now, make it into a premium product again and stuff it back into this jacket to make a fantastic insulative layer. So this is a, a 700 fill power. So for those that aren't sure about fill power, it's worth looking at what it means. And I can do you a little bit of a demonstration on that. So here we've got a 650 down and here we've got an 800 down. And you can see that there is a difference in the kind of fluffiness and the look of it. And this is what the difference in the down fill power is. Now these are actually the same weight of down in these two cylinders, there's no difference in weight. But you can see that this one, the 800 is full all the way to the top and the 650 has a little bit of a gap there. So the higher the fill power of the down, the purer, the, the better the down is, and therefore for the warmth to weight ratio. The warmth weight ratio is absolutely key in outdoor to understanding how warm something's going to be. So you can have a big thick thing that's not that warm. You have actually quite a thin thing that's surprisingly warm. It depends on that warmth to weight ratio. So this is a 700 fill power, which for this kind of price point of jacket is, is what you would expect. If you're gonna get beyond that, you're into some serious Alpine jackets that again, Rab certainly do, but then you'll see the price points bump up and you'll tend to see a change in the features of the jacket to make it far more mountain specific and a little less urban. 
as I said at the start, this kind of jacket suits you both the urban and the outdoor. So we'll look at the, the, the face fabric. Now, this is a Pertex Quantum 30 denier fabric. And again, totally recycled, we've said already. It'll turn a shower without a doubt. It's not it's not a waterproof, but this is not designed as a waterproof. And, and to be fair, my own personal thoughts on uh, insulative layers and waterproof insulative layers is that basically, I don't particularly like waterproof insulative layers. I think there's a, a, a blocker there because this will breathe extremely well. And if you start putting a, a a membrane there such as a gore membrane not only are you going to bump the price up massively but you are reducing that breathability and in doing so you start to get moisture accumulation more easy in 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 the jacket and therefore the down as soon as you start getting moisture into the down or, or any insulation it starts reducing that insulative ability and the thing with having a separate waterproof to a separate insulation where you can take the insulation off and you've still got a waterproof or you can remove the waterproof when it's dry and just use the insulation i think it's a far more uh utilitarian flexible system to have them separately now rad do do waterproof down jackets but uh please look them up the price point of them understandably is very high and as i said i think only would i want a down product like that if i was living in i don't know norway or somewhere like that and i was into dog sledding or something like that. but I, I mean, i'm only guessing there because as i said i can't really see why i would want a waterproof insulative when i can have a waterproof and an insulator and mix the two but this will definitely turn a shower and it has that dwr on the outer the, the do of a water repellency that you will have to maintain through the life of the jacket so what are the features of the jacket got the, the the other big change they've done apart from the totally recycled construction is they've actually tweaked the fit a little bit so um it's got a nicer line to it now now why is that important well it's important because this jacket where i understand will be used often in an urban environment it's a great winter jacket for walking around town in, in those cold damp freezing conditions that we often get into the in the british isles but because it's got that nod towards um kind of flattering construction you don't look out of place you're not looking like a michelin man you're looking like you've got a really nice cool outdoor jacket on due to this being uh, an insulation layer it hasn't got a huge amount of pockets it has got pockets though we have the chest pocket which is relatively generous in size it's not massive not got any map in there now what is generous are the hand pockets now these are hand warmer pockets the pocket material is behind the insulation so when you've got your hands in there you're getting that lovely 700 hill power down insulation behind your hands so again walking around the town or a cold time on the hill stick your hands in these pockets and they will warm up it's also a very big pocket which takes in a large area of the jackets internal so you can fit a lot in there if you wanted to it also comes with this bag now down is extremely compressible extremely compressible and it will fit into this bag without any issue whatsoever at all now this is a lightweight little bag and what it isn't is waterproof and what i would tend to do and what i always do personally to my hill uh, insulation layers is i always pair them with a waterproof dry bag and then i know if i need that to get out of my bag that it is waterproof i think from an urban perspective the non-waterproof bag is fine or if you're putting it in a, in a rucksack liner or something like that again it's waterproof but i would protect your insulative layers against moisture when you're not using them other features of the jacket which isn't particularly new this is what's called a sewn through baffle construction what does that mean what well, literally means that it's sewn through there is another type of baffle called a box baffle and this is where you get literally a box shaped baffle there is different shapes in the baffles but that's getting a little bit complicated and and what they do is they sew the boxes together and what that does is it eliminates the pinch points that you'll get on a sewn through construction it weighs a lot more it's a lot more expensive and it, again you get that big michelin man look so this is a sewn through a baffle construction but by a bit of canny tailoring they have managed to reduce the sort of pinch points a little bit by the way that they've constructed the baffle you see there you can't actually see the stitching 
all you see is the the baffles touching each other and that again reduces the uh the the, the cold spots that occur in the sewn through construction and i think this is one of the hallmarks of of rab and there's certainly this jacket as well is tailoring it's all about tailoring the fit the way that it comes together the way it makes it look and the way it makes it perform they've really thought about this but this jacket has evolved over years so they have taken all that experience and, and keep piling it into the products like this and, and make it just stand out often from what is quite a crowded marketplace for down insulation so got the pockets we have obviously the zip we've talked about that a little bit already we've got a internal storm flap there to help reduce cold spots on the front we have a technical hood with a really good rim to it and you can again hunker down in this there is adjustments etc which are internal so you fit it with the toggles there and get it all nicely keyed into the head to maximize that insulation and uh, the other thing to mention about down like any insulation it warms up after a while why am I saying that because I'm starting to get really hot I'm in the shop right now and the downs are warmed up and I'm really starting to think that I've got a radiator on me which again is another good feature of the down jacket things like this as well the way that they've done the cuffs so that the jacket itself just slightly goes over the cuff so therefore you reduce again cold spots on the wrist things like this they've thought about they've used that experience they've got over the years of making this and, the, and they're talking to the high-end athletes that are trying this stuff out in extreme conditions taking that feedback putting it back into the jacket all in all it's a fantastic classic product updated for 2020 with this 100 recycled construction wonderful fit great aesthetics great performance there's not a lot not to like here in fact there ain't anything not to like Enjoy the jacket and enjoy your walking.